Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. I'm Nerdy Talking and today I'm going to show you how to implement a very basic health bar. This is by far the most common way of representing health in a video game. But lately I've seen a couple of really original and innovative health system representations in video games. So I would like you to answer in the comment section which is the most original health system that you ever seen in a video game. And also remember if you enjoy this type of content please subscribe to the channel. And that's it for the introduction, now let's start with the tutorial. Um, for this video I had a very basic scene that has a game object player with a sprite. I'm using the same sprite from my last video, so if you haven't checked it, I will leave you a link in the description. And this player object also has a script that is called the uh, player script. And this is really a very basic script. It basically has two properties, one for the initial health and the other one for the current health. On the start method, I'm setting the current health to be equal to the initial health. And finally, we have a public method called take damage that receives the damage value and basically subtract it from the current health. And to do so, I'm checking if the damage is greater than the current health. I'm setting the value to zero. And if not, I'm subtracting the damage value to the current health. This is only to prevent the current health going below zero. And if you're not familiar with this syntax, this is a shorter way to write an if else statement. Basically you have your condition first and then a question mark and the two values. The first value is the value if the condition was true and the second one is the value if the condition was false. So basically if condition question mark the value for true, column the value for false. And as I told you before, this is the same as writing if damage is greater than the current health, then the current health is equal to zero. Else, the current health is going to be equal to the current health minus the damage. And we don't need this block, so I'm just going to comment it and let's go back to the editor. And in here, I also have a canvas with a button. And as you can see, when I click the button, I'm calling the take damage method and I'm passing the value as 10. So basically, every time that I click the button, I will subtract 10 points to the health. So let's check this out. And we can see that I have the initial health and the current health, both at 100. And every time that I click the button, the current health is reduced by 10 points. And we also make sure that it doesn't go below zero. And that's it for the initial setup. We can now finally start creating our health bar. And in order to do that, I will start by creating an empty game object inside of my canvas. I have a canvas because I already had a button, but if you do not, start by creating a canvas and then create an empty game object inside of the canvas. I will name this uh, health bar. And this object is where we are going to place all the, the rest of the components for the health bar. But for now, I'm just going to place it on top of the character and I'm also going to resize it so it is shaped like a rectangle. Then we have to add an image. So let's go back to the health bar game object, right click UI and find image. This image is going to be the background for our health bar. So let's reset the transform. And I will also choose stretch horizontal in the anchor preset. So this way the image is going to fill the entire game object. And when we resize it or when we change the resolution, then the background image also resizes accordingly. And now that I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to move the bar and place it on the top left corner. I will also change the name of the image and I will name it background image 
to keep things clear. And finally, I will also change the color and make it red. And perfect. Now that we have our background image, we need uh, another one for the health. So I'm going to duplicate this one. I will name this remaining health. And I will also change the color and set it to green. And finally, we need to add the source image. You can use whatever image that you want. If you don't have any image in particular, the easiest way to create one is to right click on your project and then create sprite and choose the one that you like. I'm going to go with the square. And now we go back to our game object and we just drag our sprite into the source image field. And once that we do that, we will see a couple of extra options in the component. And the one that we are going to be using today is the image type. In particular, we will choose the field image type. And now we can also choose how the image is going to be filled. For example, with the radial method, if I change the fill rate, you see that the image is filling in a radial way. If I go to horizontal, and I change the fill rate, it moves horizontally. You can also set it to left or right, whatever you want. And also, if you want, you can have it vertical. And this is not the case for this tutorial, but if your health bar is vertical, you have the, the option. So let's go back to horizontal. And now all we have to do is to change this fill amount value. That is a value from zero to one to represent the health of the character and of course to do that we are going to write a very simple script so let's go back to our script folder right click create c sharp scripts and i will name this health bar and don't worry i promise you guys this is going to be a really really short script all that we're going to need is a reference to the health that is inside of the player and a reference to the image, that is the health bar. And we're going to change the fill amount based on the health that we have. So let's start by getting our reference to the player. And for this, I will create a serialized field so I can see it on the editor. The type is going to be player and I will name this player. Now for the image, let's create another serialized field also private the type is going to be image and make sure that you're using the unity engine.ui package and let's call this variable health bar image in this script we are not going to be using the start method so i'm just going to delete this and we are going to write our logic in the update method the first thing that we're going to need is the player health and since the Fill rate is a number from 0 to 1, as I told you before. This is basically a percentage. I would like to have the health as a percentage also. So let me declare a variable called health percentage. And the way to calculate this is really simple. We just need the player current health. And we are going to divide this value by the player initial health. This way we will get our health represented as a value from 0 to 1 and that's exactly the number that we need for our fill rate so as you guess all that we need to do now is to get our reference to the health bar image and set the fill amount value equal to our health percentage and now let's go back to the editor to test this out so let's grab our health bar game object we need to add the script that we just write. So add a component, look for the script, health bar. And we need the reference to the player and the health image. So grab the player and drag it. Do the same thing with the image. Remember the image that has the green background. And now if we hit play and we start taking damage, we see that the health bar is working. And the way this works is because the green image is being shrink when we change the fill amount 
and we can see the background image that has the red background. Now the final thing that we can add to our health bar is a text. So let's go to UI, text, let's rename this object, call it health text, and let's center the text both horizontal and vertically, so it is in the center of the box. And let's also make it bold, so it is easier to read. And now if we go back to our script, we can add a reference to the text. So let's create a, another serialized field of type text and let's call it health text. So now in the update method, we can create this text. We already have the health percentage, but it's a number from zero to one. I would like it to be from zero to 100. So let's create a new variable that we will name health string. And this is basically going to be the health percentage that we already calculated multiplied by 100 because I want a value from 0 to 100. And since we are going to use this value to be displaying a text, we need it to be a string. So to this value, I'm going to add the method to string. And finally, all we have to do is to get our health text reference and set the text value equal to the health string that we just created. I'm also going to append the percentage symbol. And just a quick note, this way of creating strings with the concatenation is really underperformant. So in your games, try to use the string format or string builders but since this is a prototype, it's okay. So let's go back to the editor now. We will have to add the text reference to the script. And if we hit play now, we can see that the, the text is displaying the current health. And whenever we take damage, it is also updated with the, with the health bar. And that is basically it. As always, guys, this is a very simple implementation. The idea of this tutorial is to show you one general and easy implementation, but you can go bananas and try to do your own twist. You can change the image. You can change the way it feels. As I told you in the intro of the video, there are tons of ways of representing health. So please be original, play a lot, change values, try to come up with something new. There are a lot of room for improvement in here. And if you have any question or anything that you think that I didn't cover enough, please let me know in the comment section. I will do my best to try to answer you all guys. And that's basically it. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and see you in the next week. Bye bye.